Hi everybody, this is Patty with The Leather Lady again with another video. We're doing snaps today. So I'm gonna show you the tools and then how to do a simple snap um, and give you some tidbits to know when you're actually buying your snaps. Snaps will come in a kit if you do just a few snaps. I buy them in bulk, so I have to buy the equipment um, separately or the tools separately. But I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's get started. So what I have laid out here is um, just the tools that you're gonna either get or purchase. So what you're gonna need is something to make a hole. So we have a hole punch here. Um, you don't have to buy one of these. Um, I'll show you how to do it without one, um, but we'll go from there. So when you buy a kit, what you're gonna do is get one of these three things. These are the, the um, parts that you need to place the top on or the bottom on um, so that you don't scratch it or damage it. Um, it's part of the pounding process. Um, and you're gonna get one of these little setters, okay? Um, this one I purchased because I do a lot more and I don't like these small things. I don't do well with little things. So um, I purchased a setter. And then you'll also get um, a, a type of rounding setter. So this is for your top. So this one's small, of course, for this one, but we're gonna set it in one of these. So you're gonna see how to do that here in a minute. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then you're gonna get uh, sets of uh, snaps. So you're gonna get two tops and you're gonna get two bottoms. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so your bottoms, oops, I got a top on here. So let me switch this out there. So we have a bottom, which is flat, which you need. And this is the bottom part of the snap. Okay, and then we have two pieces to the top. So this is the pretty part, and maybe there's a decoration on it, maybe there's something else on it, but this is the top and this is the part that goes on the top, okay? So those are the tools, whoops, those are the tools that you need. And then um, we're gonna just get started in showing you how to do that. Now I'm gonna use this tool here. I'm gonna use this tool here. You don't need all these, you only need one of them, but I'm just showing you the different styles that you may get with your kits. Tandy has snap kits, Joann's has snap kits. Um, there's a lot of, you know, fabric places that have snaps. I would say go to a leather website to get your snaps. Um, depending on your project because the other thing that you do want to watch is and the big big point is what fabric or what leather you're using to put a snap in why is this really really important because you're going to have two different where did the other bottom part go okay let me use one of these here <laughs> i'm getting them all mixed up here so you have two different bottoms here okay i'm going to show you i'm hoping that this shows up um, but they are different heights. So you want to make sure that it's going to go through your leather and have enough so that it's going to hold the snap. If you get it too short and your leather is thicker, then your snap is not going to hold. Okay. I'm going to show you two ways to do snaps. So there's a snap to do it this way where you're just putting it together. And then there's a snap uh, way that we can actually like put it around our wrist, that kind of a thing. And and snap it together this way. I'll show you both of those. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna set those aside here. So the first thing we're gonna do is punch a couple holes, which I've already done here, but say you don't have a hole punch like this and you don't wanna spend the money. So the thing is that you can do, um, I'm gonna do it just sort of off to the side here, is that you can actually just cut a tiny little x in your leather with a box knife or just a very very sharp knife and it's going to create a hole let me see if i can get one of these to go through um, maybe i have to make the hole bigger i didn't cut it all the way through again you just cut this little this is a pounding board I'm working on. It's really not meant for cutting, but I use everything for everything. Okay, so then you have it here. 
okay mm -hmm. so you have a hole it's not going to set it as well because you need to have that flat space but if that's your last resort say you're outside or you're doing something and that's your last resort that's what i would do okay so this one here we're going to take the bait the bottom and we are going to put the bottom part flat in here and i may need to cut these holes bigger i do I just had this. I had done this video um, uh, before, and um, my GoPro wasn't working right, so I ended up having to redo. So here we go. So we're going to put that flat part in here, such as that. So this is the bottom part, and then we're going to take this flat part you gotta be really careful knowing which one you're gonna put in the bottom because I've done this before many many a times and messed up totally so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this piece over so no matter what you have there's a flat side round side flat or round side flat side and you can put that on top of that okay oh you are gonna need a hammer guys sorry about that you are gonna need a hammer so you're gonna take the setter and you're going to put that in that hole and you're going to give that a couple good wax okay oops and that can happen too if it bounces what you want to make sure is that you're on something stable uh like a corner of a table or something like that so i had to stop the video reorganize here a little bit but we're going to go ahead and finish this uh, I had to reset this up guys so again we're just gonna take this here and going to pound on it about three four times okay and that's nice and set okay so then we're gonna go to the top part and remember we're trying to put the snap together this way not this way for this one so we're trying to put it together this way so we have to make sure that the pretty part of this one is on the on the outside okay we're gonna flip this to the part where it's curved so we don't want to damage that we're going to also put this on top of there the part that goes for that okay and that is remember you got to know the parts because if you put the wrong part on the wrong one it doesn't work really that well um, so we're gonna do the same thing with that it's all nice rounded making sure we're on some stable that doesn't bounce and again <clears throat> and there you go you have your your set snap so we're gonna go ahead and see if it works ta-da it works well it works really too well sometimes when they're brand new they are hard to get apart which is a good thing like if you got a pair of pants or a purse or something you definitely don't want them to come apart so you got number one done all right so we're going to go ahead and go to something like say you want to make a wristband okay uh, then you've got to be really mindful what side you want out you want the rough outside you want whatever if you're working with leather if you're working with fabrics it's different so we want it to come across right so we want the pretty one on the outside doesn't matter which side you're going to do but make sure that your pretty side is on the outside so i like starting from the the top first so i can make sure that i have that outside and i didn't mess up because we are all human and i do mess up so we are going to put that on top of there on top of there same repeat same repeat um, and that is we're going to hit that and hit it about four times I like to make sure that they're in there you got that one set okay so now we want to make sure it's going to wrap around right so i need to make sure that this piece is on top of this so easy peasy so i'm going to put my other piece underneath i'm going to poke that through it's got the flat side i'm going to flip this little guy over i'm going to put this guy on top why do we always do that? Why do we just call them guys? We're going to put this guy on. Why don't we say we're going to put this girl on there? Why do we do that? <laughs> Alrighty. So anyway, I'm going to put this guy on. Done that. Um, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're on that little piece so I don't slide off and mess up my... Oops. Snap. We got it on. And now we have sort of like... Oh, 
bracelet. So if I wanted to wrap that on there. All right. It's as simple as that, guys. That's all it is about putting a snap together. Again, the only trick and tip I would have to really say is make sure that your bottom pieces are long enough to go through the leather, the fabric, and not too long. So if you have too much, then the snap is going to be wiggly. And you don't want a wiggly snap because then they can really come and rip the hole, come loose, that kind of a thing. Um, and that would be sort of the trick of doing a snap, making sure that your shaft is long enough or short enough. So I hope this helpful. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to please watch more videos like this or share, subscribe um, at my YouTube channel um, on YouTube, The Leather Lady LLC, or go to my website, theleatherladyllc.com and see the products, services, and also videos there too. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.